Hello and welcome to another two minute tip. We're going to be looking at a loading option this time, surface hydrostatic pressure. My name is James Herzing. I'm a technical consultant here at Autodesk. So I don't know about you, but I don't like defining hydrostatic pressures. They're kind of tough. Fortunately, the wonderful people here at Autodesk have made it very easy for us just to point and click our way into an accurate hydrostatic pressure. So there's a few things we need to define. The point on the fluid surface. The fluid depth direction, so how is it going to be acting and increasing uh, as you go deeper. Fluid density and the pressure type. So we're going to jump into the software and try and make a hydrostatic pressure with the same kind of contour as shown in this picture. So let's uh, head into the software and take a look at how easy it is to do that. Alright, so this is a very easy thing to do. Click on setup and we're going to have to go, well let's choose our surface first and now go on to setup and let's choose our load. You see it's not on there. If we click on the little more button, there it is, hydrostatic pressure. And again, we're going to try and make it a triangle as in that image. I don't like to type these numbers in. I like to use the selection options. So we're going to go ahead and click right here and choose a point on the surface. So we're going to define what surface we want our pressure on. So this one that we have selected, perfect. That's the top of where our loading is going to go. Fluid density, again, click on that top and bring it down, choosing the vector. So that's defining that as we're up here, our pressure is going to come down and increase at the bottom. Type in a fluid density and we can click OK because we're going to just assume that normal to the surface is an alright thing for our pressure. Let's click OK and we can see the loads applied. Easy to set up, right? Well, let's analyze it to make sure that we did it properly. You could also check your model to see if the pressure arrows are acting the way you want them to. All right, so this is a fast analysis. Let's get it into a nice view. And there you can see, up at the top, like we wanted, a small pressure. And as we go down, as if there's more water or some fluid there, the pressure gets greater. That's all there is to hydrostatic pressures. Pretty simple for a complicated sounding thing. If you have any questions on this tip, please let me know. If there's any other tips you might want to learn about, maybe other loading styles or uh, forces that you don't know how to apply, let me know at SimSquad and I'll be happy to help you out. Thanks a lot.